Hello again everyone, it's Vince Bora from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for September 20th, 2018. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Well, we saw another strong day on Wall Street for U.S. equities. Both the Dow and the S&P 500 hitting fresh new all-time highs. The Dow, it was up 251 points. There it is, breaking that high from early January and doing so with authority. The S&P 500 it was up 22 points, um, while the NASDAQ gained a very healthy 78 points. There it is. Remember, this previous high here, the September 14th high, is the crucial level here. If it takes that out, it's most likely not only going back to 76.97, but beyond that. And we close within about a half a point of that level. The uh, Russell 2000 up 17 points. Now, this index is still lagging still trying to get back above that 20 period moving average this is iwm the etf for the russell 2000 um but it did close at its highs of the day so we will most likely see it punch through that 20 tomorrow now the bond market continued uh or i should say it didn't continue it bounced today for the first time in a few days here uh but the yield excuse me on the 10-year Treasury note held steady. It is at 3.063. Crude oil down slightly today, taking a bit of a break. While uh, crude, or excuse me, gold futures, um, it was up, gaining another $3.60 on more weakness in the U.S. dollar. There's the dollar uh, rolling over. Now, as we've been talking about, the banking sector has obviously been doing well. They had another good day today. But Wells Fargo made an announcement that um, um, you'd think uh, would be pretty negative, even though the stock did finish higher by just 33 cents. But, you know, that's that's interesting, though, because they announced um, that they plan to lay off up to 10 percent of their workforce uh, over the next three years. Uh, so. Um, where does that leave us here? What's the next move for Wells Fargo? While well, looking at the uh, daily chart here, we are bouncing, but it looks highly likely that we get up somewhere near this down sloping 20 and then start to roll over again. 53 would be an area of support down here, and beyond that, we'd be looking at the 50 range here. So that's where I think we're going near term. What, uh, the weekly chart, you can see, if we get below that level, that 50 level, we can be going much lower. Um, from a longer term perspective, the monthly, momentum is just starting to flatten out. Let me zoom in here. And you can see that 20 period moving average is now flat. So again, these previous lows, these support zones here are very, very important. That $50 level is crucial. But for now, um, I can be on the lookout for a short somewhere in and around that 57 level. If we can get a bounce somewhere around 57, I think that would be uh, an opportunity to the short side on Wells Fargo. But that's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you on our next update.